Okay, just imagine there's a situation you are hanging out somewhere and somebody just walks up to you and talks to you in English. And now suddenly there's a fear, anxiety and fumbling that feeling of avoiding. You just run away from that situation. You don't want to talk to that person. Things like these start happening to you like this. This just happened to you, right? And in the moment, in one moment, you are feeling too much. That is what I am going to talk about with you today. So there's instinctual fear. It comes from your instinct. You don't think it. It happens to you. I'm going to give you a master for this. A very good way of handling this problem. Alright, so what exactly is this? Let's first understand. Does this happen to everybody? Yes, this happens to everybody. It used to happen to me also. And it happens mainly because this is not your native language. Plus, we have attached a lot of status to this language. And when somebody speaks to us in English, we automatically feel that this person knows more than I do. This person is better than me. And this feeling actually brings you all that anxiety and fear that makes it very uncomfortable for you in that situation. Now, the first thing you have to do is in that situation, situation like to remember these three s and what are these those are keep it simple slow and straight okay now let me explain by simple i mean you have to keep your language very simple you don't have to pretend that like you know more you do not have to show yourself at somebody you're not you need not to think about the fancy words in that moment. Just try and focus on the communication part. If somebody is asking you something, just try to answer it in simple English. That's rule number one. Rule number two, you have to be very slow. You need not to rush with your words at all. There's no hurry. I mean, look at me, how chilled I am when I'm talking to you, when I speak in English. I do not have that feeling in me to tell everything quickly. No, just relax, pace your words out, just keep your words apart. This is rule number two. Do not rush with your words. There's no hurry. Okay, rule number three, keep it straight. By straight, I mean to the point. You do not have to beat around the bush, whatever is being asked to you. Just focus on answering to that particular question. You do not have to prove that you know a lot. Your vocabulary is good. You're very confident in English. You don't have to prove it to anybody and not even yourself. Answer whatever is being asked. So will you remember these three S? That is, keep it simple, slow, and straight. Okay, moving on. Now, another thing to consider here is to focus on communicating. The exchange of ideas should be clear. Language is secondary. If somebody asks you something in English and you are pretty sure that they do understand the native language of that place or regional language or whatever language you are comfortable with, you have that thing in your head. He knows the language. It's okay to answer even in your regional language. I have observed this in public places a lot of time. And Correct me if I'm wrong. There are a lot of people who are not very confident with their English speaking. They try and they cover themselves in a corner. They don't want to talk to anybody and it's visible on their face. Even if you're not very comfortable, you don't have a lot of confidence right now. You're working on it. You are a work in progress. It's all right to be in the center of the room. It's all right to welcome people to talk to you. Do not make it visible on your face that you are scared, hesitant. No, don't at least show even if you are the first step to confidence is to show you are confident fake it till you make it heard about it yeah we all have heard about this phrase fake it till you make it i think it's a uh, very popular on the social media yeah so it applies here now another very important thing to remember in a situation like this is that it's an opportunity to improve these things are uncomfortable they fill you with discomfort it is known everybody knows it everybody feels it but these are opportunities if you keep letting that loop of fear and avoidance distract you from your goal if you keep following that track that 
path all the time how will you be able to come out of it it's not just about your english it's about your overall aura your confidence it is right there inside of you right now you're just trying to cover it up you are giving other people too much importance you don't have to prove anything to anyone you only have to do one thing you only have to focus on one thing and that is to continue doing what is needed when you are needed to speak speak choose your words it's all right to make mistakes even native speakers make mistake this is a wrong notion that those guys are perfect they make a lot of mistakes even basic tenses they mis- they make mistakes with them too yeah they really do so so this is it for today that is all i wanted to tell you and now there's only one thing you have to remember the more and more you face these situations the better you will get out of it and there will be a day when you will actually look back and think okay i used to be scared of this this is not difficult this is in fact so easy so that will happen believe me but will happen only with practice so practice practice and practice hope you find this lesson useful see you soon with another lesson till the next video take good care of yourself and learn english quick with banpreet and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel like comment and share the video bye bye